The jaw harp has been making techno music long before techno music was even a thing and way before it was cool. This instrument is ancient. It's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old, but yet it makes several sounds that, you know, would really fit in a lot of modern, modern music styles. And it's kind of a forgotten instrument and most people don't even know what this is. It's called a jaw harp. It's known by, you know, dozens of different names because it's, you know, had so many places in so many societies over, over the years. But I'm gonna show you today how you can make several of these sounds to fit in a lot of modern music, techno music, house music, or any other genre that you know uses a synthesizer. So even by itself, without doing anything, if you just listen to the sound, it really has a synthesizer sound. That's, that's really a sawtooth synthesizer. I mean, that's a very common sound that is made by you know a synthesizer that if you're you know mixing a song or sequencing a song, I should say. But you can make that a little bit more interesting if you add some sharp inhalations or breathing out um, as you're playing. So I'm going to do that in a 4-4 rhythm on the offbeat. <laughs> so I'm using my diaphragm to push that, that breath out or in and that causes that really sharp accent and that, you know, it sounds like it would fit in a lot of um, songs there. So you can make that even more interesting by shaping your tongue to um, change the sound. So definitely giving it that kind of phalanger effect. Really cool. Now um, another uh, thing that you can do, and this is probably the trickiest technique to teach, I'll do my best, is to use your glottis to make the bass drum. This is a technique I've done for many years. Um, I, I learned when I was a lot younger, um, and it's basically to make that bass drum sound like this. <clears throat> Notice my Adam's apple is going crazy. <clears throat> and I can't explain exactly how to do it, but I can teach you kind of how to arrive at that. So if you swallow, like imagine if you're swallowing a golf ball, for example. Again, I don't advocate swallowing golf balls, but it helps to illustrate the point. If you make a big swallowing motion, you know, there's a natural sound right at the, at the end, like that sound that you hear in cartoons. Like if you try and make that sound and focus on it, you can use that as a basis to kind of start practicing making that sound. Um, so. So it kind of sounds like you're struggling for air underwater, but if you try and hone that down, you can refine it. In any case, I can't get you to the end destination. You're gonna to have to practice and shape that as, as, on your own to get to where you can make a clean bass drum sound. Now you can also breathe out through your nose at the same time, kind of hum really deep through your nose to give that a really pleasing bass sound. Mm, 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 mm. Then you can attach the jaw harp and make an interesting techno music. Wow, I mean, what is this thing? This is like this crazy old instrument making techno music. I think it's just so cool. Um, there's so many possibilities that you can make here. So on the line of beatboxing, the problem with beatboxing on the jaw harp is that you have to make some of those plosive sounds like pff, pff, or psh with, like with the snare drum. And the problem with that is that you're pushing this reed in between your mouth, and so it, the reed is gonna get caught in your, um, your lips and your teeth. Um, it's gonna pinch and it's gonna hurt. So I really recommend only trying what I'm about to teach you very carefully and to use a harp that is smaller and has a very flexible reed. Because if you use a stiff reed, you could you know, even cut your lips, so be careful. So we're gonna change the technique a little bit. Usually when you play the jaw harp, you push it against your teeth. We're gonna back off and you press it against our lips and play muted style. Now, this is the trick, is to move your lips from the edge of the jaw harp where you would normally play to cl closer to the outer frame of the jaw harp, right here. It's a very muted sound, usually you wouldn't play here. But 
um, with beatboxing, this allows basically the reed is mostly moving at the edge of the jaw harp and it gives you some room so you can actually make some sounds. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> Another technique that you can play with the lip on the lips in a muted style is to make the sound yum. So you have it resting against your lips with your lips slightly parted and then you open your mouth as if you're saying that word. As always be careful, your lips are definitely more closed so play gently, but definitely a cool sound that you can use in your repertoire. Another technique is to use a double strike. It's pretty much essential if you're trying to make um, techno music. So um, the way to strike this is some people do this. I find that this catches a little too strongly, so I prefer to use my wrist inverted like this um, and um, this method. And you can do it either in the muted method or with your um, the jaw harp against your teeth. You can even add this some interest to this by muting the jaw heart. Um, so that's kind of another method is muting and um, it's really also helpful for when you're doing that offbeat um, diaphragm. <laughs> kind of a sharp um, end to it. And the way you do that is you grip, and I can't tell you how to grip it because every harp is different. I'm using my thumb and ring finger to grip the harp with my, um, my pointer um, for stabilization resting against my teeth and using my middle finger to um, and you, to um, touch the reed. Now you can go at the middle, which is gonna cut it off immediately. You can go off towards the outer frame, which is gonna cut it off more gradually. And you can also move it up the reed and it'll change the pitch. You have to be very gentle or it cuts off the sound too much. And you can also use your thumb on the other end and press uh, as you're going, as you're playing and change the pressure to also adjust the pitch. Really cool, awesome potential. Another technique that you've probably found just from playing the jaw harp is talking. You have to be careful to not touch the reed with your tongue as I just did. So there's one last technique I'll share with you and that is to um, the sound la la. Now it's not like when you normally you push the tongue against the roof of your mouth like in the sound t you're you know more of the tongue than just the tip is touching. Now if you just bring curl your tongue up like this and so just the tip is touching the roof of your mouth it makes an interesting sound. This is normal tonguing, which is an awesome sound by itself, but um, it kind of gives a more robotic and um, synthesized sound if you curl the tongue like that. So those are some sounds to make some techno music with your jaw harp. Super fun, I could explore this for hours. I think it's so much fun. If you're just getting started with the jaw harp, make sure you check out this video. I give a tutorial on how to do the very basics of the jaw harp and go into the basic sounds. So if some of this you weren't aware of, I go a little bit slower so you can learn some of those basics. So make sure and check out that video. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be sharing more about the jaw harp and many other instruments. Thanks for watching.